सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वास्कुलाइटिस वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज वास्कुलाइटिस वास्कुलाइटिस मीन्स इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द वेसल बॉल नाउ देर आर सम कॉमन सिम्टम्स एक्रॉस ऑल पेशेंट्स ऑफ वास्कुलाइटिस एंड दे आर फीवर माइलजिया इट कैन बी एथरलजिया और इट कैन बी मेलेज नाउ वाई डज वास्कुलाइटिस हैपन देर आर टू मेकेनिजम्स आई दर कैन बी इम्यून मीडिएटेड और इट कैन बी इन्फेक्शियस और आई दर इट कैन बी फिजिकल और केमिकल इंसल्ट टू द वेसल वॉल एंड देर इट कैन लीड टू वास्कुलाइटिस Now, major there are two types of vasculitis. Either it can be infectious vasculitis or it can be non-infectious vasculitis. So, first we will talk about infectious vasculitis. There are bacteria and fungus which will in invade the arteries, and the resultant outcome after invasion of the arteries by this would be either there would be weakening of the walls or formation of thrombus or an embolus. Now, weakening of the walls. will lead to formation of the aneurysms and they are known as mycotic aneurysms there are two kinds of fungus which are invasive they are either aspergillus fungus or mucormycosis now we will talk about non infectious vasculitis there are three types it can be immune complex associated vasculitis it can be anti neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies or it can be anti endothelial cell antibodies now talking about immune complex associated vasculitis there can be pre existing immunological disorder in the patient such as if patient is suffering from sle so there are, so there is formation of the auto antibodies in the patient this antibodies will combine with the antigen to form the antigen antibody complex which will deposit in the vessel wall now there are two ways it can happen you take a drug this drug will act as an heptin antibodies will be formed against it antibodies will combine with this antigen heptin and form complex cause vasculitis or either it can be secondary to infection microbial infection which would lead to formation of the antibodies and this antigen antibody complex will again lead to formation of complex and will deposit in the vessel wall and cause vasculitis now talking about the uh, anti neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies that is anca these are the neutrophils which contains the granules and some enzymes and antibodies are formed against them now there are two types either it can be anti proteinase 3 antibodies which is known as p r a n c a which is earlier known as c anca or it can be anti myelo peroxidase which was known as pnk cnk is against neutrophilic azeurophilic granules and pnk is against my myeloperoxidase lysosomal granules now let's see the mechanism in short the drugs or the microbes that will lead to formation of anca and this will lead to pr3 mpo expression on the surface of the leukocyte now endotoxins released by microbes which will lead to formation of the cytokines most mainly tnf and which will cause upregulation of the pr3 and mpo this would lead to activation of the neutrophils and this activated neutrophils will release reactive oxygen species and that will in turn cause vasculitis now talking about anti endothelial cell antibodies and there are various vasculitis under this topic and the names of this vasculitis are as follows giant cell arteritis takasai arteritis polyarteritis nodosa kawasaki disease vaginal granulomatosis microscopic polyangiitis chuckstoff syndrome and burgers disease so this was all about vasculitis and thanks for watching